<clears throat> thought this one deserved a little video. Here we are running with the new grid with way too much gas. Current limited at 16 milliamps because that's where I set it and 28 kilovolts. I'm going to start taking gas out. And the voltage rise. Oh, and no ion source at the moment. And while we're waiting, I should mention the new ion source. I mean, the new grid does show the null effect with the ion source. 42 kilovolts. 49. And the thing I wanted to show you in this video is that bright incandescent dot on the screen I have, which was originally intended to keep RF out of the world, is also obviously saving my two pieces of glass. And what I find interesting is you can see this hazy blue um, around it with the glass is lighting up from electrons hitting it. But I think pretty sure the stuff in the red in the middle has ions hitting it. I'm going down to 42 kilovolts again and everything is still outgassing here. And now I got too little gas and we're getting the usual conditioning stuff. Suppose I turn on the ion source. And all that blue stuff on the glass moves around. We have a bright spot at the back of the grid where the heat always happens. And you'll notice, I think we noticed, the dot moved. <laughs> the incandescent dot on the screen moved to the left. Which is not exactly what you'd expect. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm seeing here, but I'm seeing something I've never seen before, and that's always deserving of a video. I'll take out more gas here. Let this guy really crank up. interesting stuff. Now, something that's happening on the outer piece of glass and some of it's happening on the inner piece of glass. It's kind of interesting. And you see something sort of nasty happening around the base of the grid, so maybe I'm going to back it off for now. Let it condition in high vacuum. And just let in some more gas here. And turn the high voltage off. Well, for now, and it's just the ion source running in there. And turn it on and off. Don't do anything terribly exciting. <clears throat>